I just finished watching Boys Don't Cry and I really wish I hadn't watched it. Okay, guys, today I'm so excited because uh, when I did my live stream, I actually asked for any requests. And some of you guys mentioned that you'd like to see a best of horror movies on Netflix list. Well, um, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna put a little twist on it, a little spooky twist. But also, I just wanted to say really quickly, a disclaimer, obviously, Netflix is different in each country, and hopefully you have access to all of these titles, but I'm sorry if you don't. I'm just going by what I have. There's no other way really I can do it, but hopefully it works out for most of you guys. So I don't know about you guys, but when I stroll through Netflix, I always have a particular kind of movie that I feel like watching. So what I've done with this list is I've grabbed a whole heap of movies and I've given them little kind of cutesy subgenre names and hopefully this will feed into what mood you're in and what kind of horror you want to watch. So let's get started. If you're in the mood for a cheesy yet satisfying gore flick, Would You Rather is definitely the one. Iris, played by Britney Snow, agrees to play a deadly game of Would You Rather. Bonus on this one, Sasha Gray's in it. The cult religious flick. This is obviously The Sacrament, which I've talked about before. This is a great movie. So the family member of a crew member of Vice has gone into this closed community and their journalistic crew decide to come together and go and find her. Obviously, this is fucked up as well. <laughs> uh, just don't drink the Kool-Aid, that's all I have to say. The 90s sci-fi flick, The Faculty. This one is about a bunch of students who experience weird things going on in their school and it might have to do with their teachers being aliens. The modern comedy with a twist, Bad Milo. If you guys haven't heard of this one, it's a little bit out there. This one is about a guy who's all stressed and his stomach keeps aching. Uh, little does he know that there's a little alien in living in his intestines that crawls out of his anus every time he gets stressed out. Yes, I'm serious. The disturbing flick. This is Starry Eyes. If you guys haven't seen it, you need to check Check it out. A young woman with the hopes of becoming famous makes a deadly pact with a satanic cult. If you want guaranteed nightmares, the shift is where it's at and if you haven't seen this, I have reviewed it before. It's pretty much about a rookie cop who starts her first day of work and it's actually the last shift at the old police station. She finds out some sinister things going on and it has a very haunting background. For this one, I really recommend to watch it at 3 o'clock in the morning, the devil's hour and see what happens. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't do that. The unwatchable, stay away, waste of time flick. Uh, this one goes to Nurse or Nurse 3D, depending on how you watch it. Uh, I'd like to say I know what this movie's about, but I still don't know. Apparently, it's about a nurse who seducts cheating men and kills them. The International Gem. This one I'm gonna pick, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. Uh, this movie is about a vampire that is stalking an Iranian town, and she meets up with a troubled boy. Also, for this category, I have to mention, if you haven't seen it, please watch Let the Right One In, which is the Let Me In original. <laughs> uh, this one's also a vampire flick. The musical horror. Uh, stage Fright totally took my heart and I don't know how you guys feel about it but it's definitely worth a watch. It features meatloaf and it's about a musical theatre camp that is terrorised by a serial killer. The survival flick. Uh, Christy is the one I picked for this one. It's about a girl who's spending the summer holidays, I believe, alone in her campus at college and she is terrorised, stalked and harassed by a bunch of weird characters. The classic timeless flick. I'm gonna choose The Shining for this one. I'm assuming a lot of you guys know what it is. Wendy and Jack and their son Danny spend a winter in a hotel that's isolated and abandoned and is really haunted and has a really dark history and it's really creepy. The modern mystery thriller, Devil. In this one, there is five people stuck in an elevator, but only four of them are human, one's a devil. Who is it? I don't know. I actually do, I've seen the movie, so. <laughs> and last of all, the zombie flick. For this one, I picked Dead Snow. It's about a ski vacation that turns into a living nightmare when a bunch of medical students are attacked by Nazi zombies. Nazi zombies. If you didn't get that, Nazi zombies. Nazi zombies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope some of these movies are available on your Netflix in your country. If not, you can go old school and pick some of these up at a DVD store near you if you're in that particular mood. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day and let me know what your favorite movie is to watch on Netflix down below. Don't forget to add me on my Facebook and thank you to everybody who joined my live stream. It was amazing. I couldn't have asked for anything more. You guys are the best and I had the best time. So thank you again. I'll see you guys later. Stay spooky. Bye. And in this one, two hillbilly stereotypes go up to a cabin in the wolves. Uh, wolves? <laughs> What? In this one, two stereotypical hillbillies go up to a cabin in the wolves. Wolves. Woods. Nazi zombies.